Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining us for today's press conference with Sacramento Kings General Manager, Monty McNair. We want to try and get through everybody's questions this morning, so if you could please ask one question each, that would be greatly appreciated. If you would like to ask a question, please use the raise hand feature at the bottom of your screen, and Rasan will un unmute your mic. With that, it is our pleasure to introduce Monty McNair for his opening remarks. Monty? Welcome to Sacramento. Thanks. Uh, good morning, everyone. First, uh, I want to thank Vivek uh, and the organization for this incredible opportunity uh, to return to my home state and lead the Kings basketball operations. Um, obviously, we're all trying to navigate these trying times with the pandemic. Uh, I just want to say that my heart goes out to everyone uh, who's been affected. Um, additionally, uh, the issues our country's facing with social injustice, uh, and racial inequality. Um, uh, I'm honored to join an organization that's been at the forefront of using their platform uh, for good. Uh, I'm excited to partner with, with Coach Walton. Uh, we're gonna build a winning culture here where our players can grow, uh, thrive in our aggressive system and uh, compete hard every night. Uh, and as all loyal Kings fans, I wanna become a team that uh, consistently competes in the playoffs and ultimately contends for championships. Um, so with that, I'm excited to get to work and uh, I'll take questions. We will start today with James Ham. How's it going, Monty? Welcome to Sacramento. Thank you. Um, I guess my question would be, what is the vision that you, uh, that you were able to pitch to Vivek and, and this uh, front office and sort of um, how do you view this team? Is it a teardown? Is it a rebuild? Is it something that needs tweaked? Yeah, no, I think, uh, you know, our goal is going to be to compete hard uh, and start building these winning habits. Um, we need to be more consistent. Uh, and going forward, we're, we're going to maintain our flexibility. Obviously, we want to compete for the playoffs, uh, but we know we have some work to do. And so my goal is to, uh, is to keep that flexibility and be aggressive whenever the time comes to improve the team. Josh Dubow, Associated Press. So what, what are the biggest challenges you guys face just with – not knowing when the next season is going to start, not know you know, all the things with the pandemic, the salary cap, things like that, just an uncertain off season. What are the biggest challenges with that in terms of building what you want to build? Yeah, the NBA is going to handle that. Uh, right now I'm focused on, uh, on getting in, learning all I can about the organization. Uh, we're focused uh, on the draft, which is the next thing in front of us. And we'll, we'll be prepared for whatever scenario uh, unfolds before us. Sean Cunningham, ABC 10. Uh, hey, Monty, how's it going? Congratulations on the new job. Um, just as you look at the the team ahead that you're, you know, charged with retooling here and, and kind of building success, what what just sticks out as your overall assessment of this roster? Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of talent on this roster um, and a lot of versatility. Um, and I, I'm really excited to, uh, you know, to work with, with Coach Walton on what we can improve, uh, which, you know, I think we're aligned on. Uh, as far as competing hard and, and starting to build those winning habits like I talked about. Uh, and there's a lot of talent here that we can work with. Jason Jones, The Athletic. Hey, Mike. Uh, I guess nice to virtually meet you, but uh, you've, you've mentioned Coach Walton a couple of times already. Can you just uh, ask you about your relationship with him prior to this job and what you know about him and how the two, the two of you will work together? Yeah, uh, we didn't have a prior relationship, but we had some, uh, some mutual friends. And so as I've gotten to know him the last uh, few days, we've had some good conversations. Uh, I've heard great things. And, and so far, I think we've had, uh, you know, a great rapport. Um, yeah, Luke, Luke's going to be our coach next year. I'm really excited to, to work with him. Uh, and I think we're aligned on our vision. And we're going to start implementing it. Tony Harbour, SAC Observer. Yes, Monty. Uh, so it's really good to, uh, to have you here. Uh, well, basically, uh, my question is uh, 14 years and no playoffs for the Sacramento Kings. And um, a couple questions uh, backwards mentioned the word challenge. Can you uh, kind of like talk a little bit about, you know, having that challenge and, and where you want to start at as far as uh, getting this team in the right direction to at least see the playoff pictures? Because Last couple of years have uh, been pretty pretty interesting. No success there. 
But now you're here, you've been to a, a, a place in Houston where, uh, you know, winning was contagious, but it hasn't been here for quite some time for the uh, Sacramento Kings. So where, where's your position on, you know, having that type of challenge coming into an organization, a franchise that has not seen the playoffs in 14 years? Yeah, no, I, uh, I understand the, uh, the frustrations of, of all the loyal Kings fans. I've already seen and heard about their passion. Um, and, and I think we're aligned on that goal. I, I was fortunate enough to, to spend the last 13 years uh, in an organization where we were able to build those, those winning habits, that culture, where year in and year out, we expected to be in the playoffs and, and compete for championships. Uh, my, goal's, my goal is to recreate that here. And uh, so we're going to be, you know, like I said, we're going to be flexible and just be ready whenever that opportunity arises to really uh, improve the team and, and get us back uh, into that consistent playoff hunt. Jason Anderson, Sacramento B. Hi, Monty. Congratulations and welcome to Sacramento. Um, I don't know if you're going to be able to address this, but the question's bound to come up. Um, De'Aaron's a big believer that Whataburger is better than In-N-Out. Um, so, again, I don't expect you to answer that now necessarily, but down the road. Um, it, when you look at this team, maybe De'Aaron specifically and some of the other guys, are there some unique – abilities um, that you feel like um, you, you can build around and then some things you're, you're looking forward to working with? Yeah, I think uh, De'Aaron and I had a good conversation. That did not come up. Um, <laughs> but I think De'Aaron knows that he's wrong there. Uh, as a big California guy, in and out is fantastic. But no, De'Aaron is a, an incredible young talent. Um, and uh, I've loved seeing what he's, what he's done and improved on over the years. Uh, and he's got a very bright future ahead of him. Matt George, KHDK. Monty, welcome to Sacramento. Uh, kind of building off of Jason's question, uh, but asking specifically about Marvin Bagley, former number two overall pick, has dealt with already a lot of bumps in the road in his young career with injuries. But can you speak on the excitement level of having an asset like that in your back pocket and getting able to see, hopefully with the rest of us, what he can do? Yeah, no, Marvin's a, a, an incredible young talent. Obviously, last year he dealt with some injuries, but that's a, that's a part of the game. And I know he's already working hard this offseason, uh, and I'm really excited to, uh, to work with Luke and, and see him develop. Okay, uh, once again, we'll get to some follow-up questions, but remember, if you have a question, please raise, use the raise your hand function. Uh, go back to Jason or James Ham, excuse me. Hey, Monty, I, one of the keys to being successful in these jobs is knowing what you know and knowing what you don't know. Uh, what are you looking for in your number two, the, the person that will support you uh, in addition to Ken Catanella? Yeah, no, I'm excited to uh, work with Ken. We've, we've uh, worked on some trades and things over the years. Uh, he, he'll be a huge asset to me. And uh, what I've learned uh, in my years in Houston is you're only good as, as good as the people around you. And so uh, my job is to fill in the rest of the front office with uh, with people who uh, are smart, talented, diverse, and compliment me. Uh, so I have you know all the resources that I need to uh, to build this team. Sean Cunningham, ABC Ten. Honey, just what are you most optimistic about? If you had to identify uh, one or two things that can you know that that kind of play to your strengths with with the way this team is kind of set up. Yeah, I think there's uh, this team showed some flashes last year. Um, you know, I think De'Aaron uh, is certainly a great young talent. Uh, and I think his, his speed uh, and ability offensively to create really uh, is going to be a huge catalyst for, for how Coach, Coach Walton and I uh, envision this team being up-tempo, uh, creating the space to uh, shoot threes and attack the rim. And, uh, you know, I think uh, we're excited to get going on that. Sam Amick. Athletic. Hello, Monty. Good to see you. Hey, Sam. Welcome to SAC, man. Um, I wonder, and Sean just kind of hit on this, you know, philosophically with the way you guys uh, played the game in Houston the past couple of years, is it safe to assume you're going to have a lot of the same themes and, and, and approach uh, and, and continue to push the envelope in that regard? Or, or is there a kind of a personal evolution or a tweaking where you might you know, take a, a few different angles on things with this job. Yeah, I think in, uh, in Houston, we um, obviously we pushed some things to the extreme. That was, uh, you know, partly due to our, our personnel there. 
Uh, I think here we'll have to adapt to our personnel. There's some tenets I think that uh, that will apply here. Uh, we're definitely going to play fast. We're going to space the floor. Uh, but there's a lot of versatility and talent on this roster, and so uh, I think that'll that'll dictate how we build the team. Marty O'Cannon, Sacramento Observer. All right, Marty, I'm gonna have to come back to you. Uh... I'm, I'm back. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Sorry. Okay, um, as you know, uh, Joe Dumas is the chief strategy officer for the Sacramento Kings, and as part of his uh, duties, he lists basketball. So my question to you is: Will you have to? Or will you consult him on any trades, any move? Uh, that you desire to make in building this Kings roster? Yeah, Joe's going to uh, assist Vivek in, in all uh, aspects of the organization, business, basketball. Um, you know, I was hired to be the head of basketball operations, uh, and that's what I'm going to do. But Joe's, Joe's been a, a great player on the court. He's been a general manager, and he'll, he'll be a great resource for me. Uh, Jazz Kang of uh, Sacktown Royalty. Monty, congrats on the new job. Um, just wanted to ask, when you, when you look at the, uh, the roster and, and kind of how the team did last year, and especially over the eight games in Orlando, what is one area you really want to focus on to try and improve the team, to try and get back into playoff contention? Yeah, I think uh, first and foremost is, is, and I've talked with Luke about this, you know, we need to be more consistent uh, in our, you know, night in and night out effort. Um, you know, we just start building those winning habits. Uh, and then as the time comes and we're, we have the opportunity to improve the team, uh, we'll, we'll be ready to, uh, to go full steam ahead. Jason Anderson, Sack B. Hey, Monty, I also wanted to ask you about, um, you know, your view of Buddy Heald. He's obviously one of the, the better, you know, three-point shooters in the league. Um, and I wonder if, you know, analytically you've gotten into looking at numbers and offense versus defense and, and things like that. Are you able to kind of assess him as a player at this point? Yeah, Buddy's uh, an incredible young talent. I think we all know in this league uh, spacing is of the utmost importance. And Buddy is one of the absolute elite shooters in this league. And uh, we're going to be able to utilize that skill set uh, as, we, as we implement our system. Uh, Tony Harvey. Yes, Monty. Uh, well, I know it's a lot of things going on right now, and you, you try to get acclimated and um, get everybody on the uh, front page with you right uh, as of now. But uh, the draft is approaching, I believe, in another six weeks or another month or six weeks. Uh, just want to you know, get your idea, your philosophy, of, you know, handling a pick uh, at that level. Uh, we The Kings have had higher picks in the last few years, but – uh, just trying to get an idea where you're trying to work out, you know, with that 12 pick and part two, if you don't mind me asking, what's your philosophy of uh, utilizing the uh, Stockton Kings roster, which is uh, also an expansion of the uh, Kings roster? Yeah, uh, touching on the draft pick first, um, you know, draft picks are, are absolutely essential way of building a team in this league. Uh, excited to have have the 12th pick this year. I think it's a, a deep and talented draft class. We're, we're going to dive in deeper uh, in the coming weeks. But, uh, you know, I think we'll definitely be able to utilize that pick to improve the team. And uh, and the G League is, a, is another way to uh, both instill our, our culture, our habits, uh, innovate and uh, develop players so that they're ready to uh, eventually help the big club. Uh, Jason Jones, the Athletic. Armani, as you begin to meet with more players, I'm thinking about a guy like uh, Bogdan Bogdanovich. He's restricted, but he's uh, a guy who's used to winning uh, before he came over to the league. And one thing I know that he's expressed a desire is that to see the culture become more, you know, a winning culture. How? Wh what's your message to a guy like him as you try to sh can show him that this is a place you can, you know, be and we're on that track? Yeah, I was able to reach out and, uh, and connect with Bogdan. Uh, yeah, he's a, a great player, incredible talent, uh, has those winning qualities, um, obviously versatile offensively, and was, was a big part of, of this team's best stretches last year. So, uh, you know, he's a big part of this team. Uh, Joe Curley from Ventura County. 
Hi, Monty. Um, you know, obviously you, you've spent the last 13 years in Texas. Um, you know, just what has the last week or so been like, you know, um, unmooring yourself from, from that life there and, and moving back to, to California? I'm sure it's been a whirlwind. No, it's been uh, it's been a dream come true to uh, both both lead a, an organization like the Kings, but also return to my home state. Um, but what I learned in uh, in Houston the last 13 years will be invaluable uh, as I you know learn in this role and, and uh, continue to build the team. Are there any other questions for Monty? Uh, Marshall Harris, CBS 13. Hey Monty, uh, welcome to Sacramento. Thanks. Uh, can you talk just a little bit about, uh, I'm curious about your philosophy. Everybody has a different one in terms of roster building. How do you get to the point where you have a, a championship contender? Some people want to build through the draft. Uh, free agency plays a big part, but I know being in a smaller market such as Sacramento, attracting free agents hasn't always been the easiest thing. How do you uh, approach that unique challenge of a smaller market team in terms of getting the pieces together that you need uh, to contend for, first off, a playoff spot, but eventually, as you said in your opening statements, a championship contender? Yeah, I mean, I think in Houston, uh, I, I learned a lot. We, we went through many different stages um, and, and ultimately became a, a contender. So I'll learn a lot from that. You know, I think, number one, we have to stay flexible and we can't uh, pigeonhole ourselves. Uh, we, there's a lot of, of ways to improve the team. And what we need to do is be ready for whatever the opportunity and whenever it arises that we can capitalize. We'll just take uh, one or two more. James Ham. Hey, Monty, you guys were uh, pretty aggressive in Houston over the last few years uh, with your roster. Is that something that you bring in, or is your style going to be somewhat different and you're going to still have to figure out what your style is now that you're you're the top guy? Yeah, I think uh, we want to be aggressive but disciplined. Um, and, and like I said, flexible. Like, we, we, don't, we don't need to, uh, to force anything. We just need to be ready. Uh, whenever those opportunities arise, uh, we'll have uh, the discipline to be, you know, aggressive to improve the team in that way. All right. Last one, Sean Cunningham, once again. Yeah, Monty, I guess it's kind of a two-part question. I guess what, when you look at just the way the, you know, Houston's front office was, and obviously you weren't the top dog there, but coming over here, I guess how ready do you feel you are for this task ahead and what do you need to be successful? Yeah, no, I've uh, I've I've grown over the 13 years there, and uh, and grew into a spot where uh, where I was involved in all aspects of of our basketball operations. I've learned from from Daryl Morey and others along the way, um, and uh, no, I'm very confident uh, that I can do the same here. Uh, but I also know that you're only as good as the people around you, and so uh, I need to surround myself with uh, talented, diverse people, um, and have all the resources at, at my disposal so that we can we can do this thing the right way.